what to do if your an enemy splits. A brand new call from Prestige Reef, and I think I finally found the secret recipe to a successful, healthy reef tank. Stay tuned, get your brew ready, and let's roll those titles. Now then, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me back at Jay's Real Reef UK. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. It shot up. Uh, I don't know what made it shoot up, but it shot up recently. So thank you to all the new subscribers and a big thank you to all you old school subscribers that have been following the channel all this time. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really does help to support the channel and helps me grow the content. If you want to see more, then subscribe. Anyway, today's little update, it is a mini update, I just want to get a little video out there because it's been two or three weeks. It's the 10 month update on this Red Sea Max Nano. I'm going to update you on the anemone dramas. I also think I've got this Red Sea Max Nano tank running an absolute dream in the last two weeks and two weeks. Celebrated two weeks. Anyway, uh, I'm also going to show you uh, my latest purchase from Prestige Reef, one of my favourite online coral providers that arrived only three days ago. So let's take a look at the newest additions to the coral collection. So in here, and I've been chasing these for about six months, from Prestige Reef, Ryan at Prestige Reef, one of my favourite online coral collectors, is a pair. Now I wasn't expecting a pair, so thank you so much Ryan, but I have a pair of green-mouthed orange Recordia mushrooms. And these look absolutely stunning first of all the size i'm super impressed with the size of them they're quite a significant size for my little nano even to start with but i've been chasing these guys they're a soft coral so they're really really hardy um, and for the money i don't honestly think that you can get anything as colorful as a recordia mushroom for less than 50 pounds uh, these are really really uh, affordable corals so this is what they look like on uh, Ryan's website here. Uh, I saw them uh, when he first opened his coral room up about a year ago. I add them to my wish list and then they came up about a month ago and I straight away added them to basket and bought them straight away and I've just been waiting for them. I just said to Ryan wait for them to settle in. When you're happy to post them then send them out and we'll, we'll get them in. So super super pleased to get my hands on some of these as I say these have been on the wish list so I'm gonna get them in the tank gonna float acclimate them for about 20 minutes and then we'll give them a dip and get them in so here is the orange recordia mushroom three days after placing it in this little red sea max nano there you are so there it is as you can see it was two uh, almost two mushrooms but now they are you can see actually today they've decided to split so now got two for the price of one you can't grumble at all about that so this coral prefers uh, lower lighting and much lower flow so it's just behind this island of rock and it's also on the sand bed away from uh, the the light. I think I do need uh, a mushroom basket perhaps for these. Um, the green one I've actually pinned in there uh, underneath that um, torch coral so it can't move um, and that's a nice position but uh, yeah two for the price of one. Um, they don't like high light that can cause them to retract. Uh, they do like quite nutrient rich water so slightly dirtier tanks is what they will thrive in but it's looking super super happy one of the easiest corals to keep as I say really affordable and for your money you're probably not going to get anything as bright as a recordia mushroom in your tank uh, for less than £30 which is what these guys you can pick them up for so there we have it two for the price of one thanks uh, Ryan this is a really nice addition to that sand bed and it's starting to look uh, very nice indeed. Super happy to have this in the collection. Nothing's ever straightforward in reefing. So I'm going away for a couple of days and as you know my anemone has my anemone has split into two and the second one is right up inside the cave which is like a little chimney. I don't know if you can see here like a chimney 
the hole there and it's making its way up the hole and here is the holy grail torch coral that's just survived uh, being smashed a bit it's slowly recovering and I don't know if you can quite get this but the anemone is just there poking through so I've got to try and get this out somehow um, and uh, take it down to the local fish shop and get rid of it really uh, as soon as possible so we're going to try and poke something down loosen the foot off hopefully and uh, and get it out but I don't know how how successful this is going to be so here it is it's been out the tank for about 30 minutes it's looking a bit sad to be honest but there we go there's the bubble tips all sticking up there and hopefully uh, they will rehome the anemone i don't know how well that came out on camera by the way hopefully they'll rehome the anemone uh which is all i want it's a beautiful um creature it's so colorful but i just can't i just cannot have two anemones in that little red c max nano one's enough two is uh, too many now when you take things like anemones or corals or fish to your local lfs they might offer you store credit and things like that to give you a bit of money towards something else but in all honesty i just want it rehomed and happy in somebody else's tank so even if they say you know we'll take it off your hands but don't give me anything i'm honestly not that bothered so let's get in there let's see what's happening and let's get this anemone onto its new journey and its new life in someone else's tank maybe yours i don't know so i've just come out of the lfs as you know or most of you know my local lfs is uh, maidenhead aquatics in derby and the guys there not only they're super knowledgeable but they're also happy to take my little tricolored nem off my hands and find a new home and that's what it's all about we're absolutely passionate about corals and livestock and fish and anemones and we don't want to see them die so a new journey new chapter in that little anemone's life and it's going to go and find a new tank to terrorize and in exchange i've managed to get some nice live foods some copepods some brine shrimps uh, that I can bob in the tank because those fish really need it they've had a stressful afternoon removing all the aquascape and trying to get that anemone out they do need a bit of a treat so i'm going to treat them to some live copepods and brine shrimp when i get back and hopefully that patch things up and we're back down to one anemone so all good um super happy well worth the trip out and uh, again thank you to maidenhead aquatics in derby now I wish I took some pictures of me removing the anemone but it had to be swift. I hope you appreciate that viewers. The whole aquascape was out including the crab and the shrimp which I did put back in. I managed to get those back in but all the corals were out of the tank for about two minutes so I had to be quick to uh, kind of thumb a bit like playing the guitar just thumb the foot of the anemone to separate it from the aquascape and get it in the tub and get it out to Maidenhead Aquatics. So I didn't have a picture unfortunately. I know you like a picture like that but it was a tank of water and an aquascape on the, on the side and I was flapping like mad. Those people that know me well, uh, you'll know exactly what I was doing. Flapping about, worrying about everything. But anyway, it's back in the tank. We've got one anemone now and it's actually sat in the right position. So absolutely delighted. So I've just decided to pick up the camera. I sat there doing my schoolwork just before I go back to school next week when the kids go back. I know a lot of you watching this will be absolutely delighted that the kids are going back, but I certainly aren't. It means work, but I suppose it pays for these uh, corals, so I uh, can't really can't really complain. But when I grab the camera, you know when your tank turns a corner. I think this uh, this little red C Max Nano is turning the corner in the right direction. Now I've always been taught to do your weekly water change of 10% but now I've reached the 10 the 10 month mark with this little red C Max Nano. Controversially I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do that water change every week anymore because I haven't done a water change on this tank now for two weeks and it's never looked better and what I mean by that is the polyp extension on all the corals, the coloration of the corals, uh, the, the kind of cleanliness of the rock work, the activity of the cleanup crew and how active they are, the snails and the, and the shrimps, the fish look super healthy and everything is just starting to come together and I am super pleased with how it's looking. 
So I'm going to shift now at the 10 month mark. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this if, you, if your tank is probably younger than 8 months. But I'm going to shift now to bi-weekly water changes of 10%. So every fortnight just do a small water change. And I'm going to rely on the doser, the D&D doser, to dose the elements that we need. Uh, magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, which would normally be replenished by a water change. I'm now going to rely on the doser to replenish those. The game changer I feel in this tank has been so far a couple of things. This Reefs Elements Amino Plus. It's about £10 a bottle. Honestly, give it a go. If it's uh, if you don't like it, I'll, I was just going to say I'll pay for it for you, but I'm not going to do that. But if you don't like it, I'd be shocked. It is absolutely brilliant for your softies, your mushrooms and things like that, uh, your zoas and the LPS, the torches and the hammers absolutely thrive off it. Um, almost as, you know, almost going to say that they will grow like weeds and if you've got torches growing like weeds then that's only a good thing. But that stuff is absolutely brilliant. I dose it one mil on the doser every day and it's made a huge difference to the coloration and the growth rate has accelerated. I don't know if you noticed the previous video, this here, this Leptoceris um, coral hardly grew. In the last fortnight it's, it's based out absolutely loads, so that's really, really helped. Um, the phytoplankton, one mil of phytoplankton every morning. Uh, this is live phytoplankton, I keep it in the fridge. That, I think, has helped to boost the nutrient levels and the bacteria. And the final thing that I think has really helped is we're now on week five of the Eco Balance by Dr. Timms. And this stuff, I think, is now really starting to show its own. Uh, the cyano has almost gone completely. Almost completely left the sand bed and the algae as well, the rock work is so clean because the snails are super active but also I don't know if you can see back here you can see I haven't cleaned the tank for two weeks because that back wall is a little bit green uh, but if you look here the, the hair algae that I had at the back there was loads, of, well there's quite a bit on there last night that's all blown off it's actually starting to detach itself from the rock and then get blown into the filter sock and then I'm just removing it. You can see it's hanging on for dear life in certain places, just waving around. Um, so the hair algae is almost gone as well. So, as you can tell, I'm absolutely delighted the way it's going. It's it's looking super nice. I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram um, recently without filters because it is looking very, very nice. Uh, the Duncan's right at the back now, you can barely see it there. Um, but all the corals uh, I'm, uh, are looking very healthy as the anemone. Anemone 1 is back in position. But yeah, so give it a go, it might work for you. Just switching it down to bi weekly water changes. I think sometimes the danger is to do too much and. Uh, and run a sterile system and it's really hard to get that balance right but you know you've got it right when your corals tell you and uh, I've never seen the corals looking any better than they are today so do you think I've figured it out then I don't know at 10 month mark reduce the water changes to bi-weekly or tri-weekly water changes of temp Try a week, is that a thing? I don't know. Three weekly, every three weeks. Yeah, 10% uh, water change. Make sure that you're dosing some really good quality cold food like that Reef Sediments uh, Amino Plus. Uh, also, get that eco balance in there from Dr. Tim's and a little bit of Phyto each day. Just seems to work. 
really is. Give it a go. Maybe it's what your tank needs as well. And I didn't have to resort to using the um, Cyano RX, which I'm absolutely delighted with. Patience, it's been in there about eight weeks, that Cyano, but all of those steps have finally turned the corner, and that is really, uh, the tank is really thanking me for those anyway. So, what we've got coming up in next week's edition, are your SPS looking a little bit sorry for themselves? Are they not colouring up? Is the growth limited? Yep, yeah, same here. Mine are exactly like that. I'm going to take a visit to Signature Frags, one of the leading coral farmers in the UK for SPS corals. We're going to go down there, we're going to get some tips, and we may pick up a new SPS coral. I would love... As you know, if you follow me on the live streams, a Pikachu SPS coral, but we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned, follow the channel, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. But for now, I promised a mini update. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's great to see you all. Take care. Thank you very much. And bye-bye for now.